I'm Chris from Sea Squid Automation, and we're here at the TAC Assistive Living Apartments in Abbotsford. And we'll just go over and show you inside what we've done. We'll start by doing the right home scene so we can open the door. We'll also open the blinds, turn the lights on, and so forth. As you can see, there we go. And as you can see, we're inside now, and the lights have come on. Um, the blinds were going up, but uh, we'll just set them up. Just, uh, Controlling them like that. We'll go back into the other one and we'll turn the other one up to 100%. So that'll go off by itself. You can see. Um, we've also got the ability here to uh, open doors, as you already know. But this one's also got a courtyard door. So we we'll just go back out to the buttons. And then you get the courtyard door, open it up, and that'll open the line completely in case that was down. And um, open the foyer there. In, in all these apartments we have Clipsal uh, wall switches, they're wireless C bus switches provided by Mini's Technologies. Um, and so we have many control as well as automation. In here we can push the bottom of the switch, which will lay off the door. And obviously if we push it again, we'll close the door. So not only do the residents have the ability to use the automation on the iPad, but uh, friends and family can use the switch as well. Here we are in the lounge room, and just show you that the iPad gives you full temperature control over the air conditioner. So as you can see, the current temperature is 20.5, and we might want to heat the place up a little bit. So up we go to 22 degrees, and as you can see, the air conditioner will now turn on and continue to heat the place. Here we are in, in all the bedrooms, the lounge room, uh, in this case the hallway and the bathroom, we all have uh, movement sensors uh, and occupancy sensors. So in this case we've set it up for the lighting so they don't have to look for a, uh, a switch on the, on the wall, we just have to walk into the bathroom and it turns on. And there we're at the front. So just by opening the gates, the security gate, so run the street gate and we're inside. And I'll take you back up to the apartment. So in, this, in these apartments we've got obviously carers looking after the residents. So in the case of an emergency, they can either push, the resident can push a, a button on the, uh, on the iPad. They might have a, they will have a, uh, a pendant around their neck they can push, or they can use this red button on the wall. So just by pushing this, that will make a, a voice call out to the carer's office and to their mobile phone, which will be a roaming phone, which the carer's got it. Um, so that'll make that call and as you can see, I've set it up to call the iPad at the moment, so you can see I can answer that, and the automation manual will tell me. So it tells me that the apartment 5 is the emergency button press. So then I know that as a carer, I know that the emergency button has been pressed for this apartment. So then what can happen is the carer can make a call back into the room by the speaker and microphone in each room, bathroom, and lounge room. Hello. So thanks for the tour and for any further information, please contact your local Mini Smart Center.